Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this Android Wear watch face running on a Moto 360 here. I'll be using the Watchmaker Android app to create the watch faces. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is uh, create the watch face. We do this by clicking the icon in the upper right corner that has a watch with a plus sign next to it. Then we click the pencil icon to start editing the watch face. Now we click the plus icon to add an element. The first element will be the numbers representing the hours. Then we will add the two elements representing the hours hand and the minutes hand. Now what we want to do is temporarily change the opacity for these elements so that they don't show while we create the second watch face. We do this by setting the opacity to zero for each element. Now we want to create the second watch face, which is a simple watch face. It only has one element, and that's the time. So we have our basic watch face, or two watch faces. Um, there's just no way to interact with them yet, so we need to add some functions to the elements, uh, specifically in their opacity attribute, so that they change their visibility when we click on another button that we're going to add. So we will call this function set opacity and pass it a variable that we will talk about later. We haven't talked about where these functions will be stored yet. And when we enter them here, the Watchmaker app will let us know that they don't exist yet. We use the word digital in the variable name here to indicate that we want this element to be visible for the digital watch. This is the error I was referring to. At this point, we'll click the Android back button and it will prompt us to save changes, which is what we want to do. Normally, you would see a save button here if the function already existed. Now we want to add the set opacity function to the analog watch elements so that they are visible when you select the analog watch. So we scroll to the top and select each element individually and then change its opacity attribute. I already had this text saved to the clipboard so I pasted it here and then changed digital to analog for the analog elements. Remember to hit the Android back button twice in order to save your changes each time. So now we need to add an element that uh, is a button that allows us to change between the two watch faces. This element will be a square shape that we'll make invisible and when you press that area of the screen the watch faces will change. I'll drag it to a part of the screen more typical for a watch mode button and I'll make it invisible by setting the opacity to zero. Now we need to add a tap action to this button so that when you press it, the other watch face appears. So scroll down to the tap action attribute and then select the run script action. 
So here we're going to type in a function name that will be available in the main script that we'll talk about later. You'll notice the error here. That's because we don't have the main script inserted yet. And that's what we're going to talk about next. Make sure you hit the back button twice in order to save these changes. So now let's go enter the main script. Hit the watch icon. And then scroll down to the script attribute. And I've already got this saved on the clipboard, so I'm just going to paste it in. And uh, we can start talking about this in a minute, but let me show you what it looks like now. If you come back out, hit the back button again, and now you're uh, at the main you know, watch face screen. If you hit that section that we just put in, the little square section that's invisible, you can see where I'm tapping it. It goes back and forth between the two watch faces we have. So now let's go talk about the script that I just inserted. And I don't want to go into a, a lot of details about it. It is coding, and it uses LUA scripting language. Um, this is basically broken up into three sections, a constants section, a variable section, and a functions section that has four functions. So you might notice here at the bottom uh, two functions that we put in to the watch elements. Uh, one is set opacity and one is on watch button. Both of those functions um, can be called from elements. And the set opacity function is the one that determines if an element should be visible or not. If you look at this one here, it returns a, a get current watch, which is a, a local function up here. And the way this works is it determines what the current watch is and then compares it to the watch that is passed in. And if they are equal, it will set the opacity to 100. Otherwise, it sets it to zero. And this is how it determines whether to show the element or not. And if you remember, we put in our set opacity calls, let's get one of these. There's the hour hand. We put in something called var watch analog. That's the watch that we want this element to be visible on. Go back to the script. Now the other function that we call from a watch element is the one being called from the invisible square shape. And all it does is call the next watch function internally here. The next watch function simply increments the current watch value by one. So if you were on the first screen, it would uh, increment it by one and then set the current watch to that value. If you were already on the second screen, then it would increment it by one. And if is the uh, equals the number of watch faces, which in our case is two, then it will reset it back to one, which is the first watch face. When that happens, the set opacity gets executed and sets the opacity appropriately for all the elements. And that's basically it. There are uh, plenty of things you can talk about the Lua scripting uh, programming language. If you'd like to know more about that, just leave a comment on the video. I will leave uh, this actual script on my website, and you are welcome to copy it and use it in your own watch faces. So if we come back out, hit the back button a few times, and click that invisible square shape, we change back and forth to each watch face. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
to install the watch face, just hit the watch icon there in the middle right of the screen, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Just leave me a comment. Let me know how you liked it, and if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.